Hello, uh, so today I wanted to go over one of the auxiliary line problems that we talked about. So right here, we're going to be solving for x to the x degrees. And right now we have 40 degrees, 150 degrees, and we are assuming that these two lines are parallel. So one of the first things we need is we need to see more, right? We need to have more relationships. So one of the things that I was teaching in class today was that in geometry we can extend any line. So in these we can assume that there are arrows, right? And we can always assume that we can extend the lines further than the distance that they go. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go like that. I'm going to take this one and go like that. So now the question is, what have we just created? Now that we have these two, I now have a triangle right here and a triangle right here. Now slide, drop, hit the phone, don't stop, ay, don't stop, ay. Now that I have this triangle here and I have this triangle here, what I want to do is I want to solve for an angle that either goes here or right here because we can see that x degrees is supplementary to not only this point, right, or we'll call this y degrees, or this one right here, right? This is y degrees. So x degrees plus y degrees equals 180 degrees, and we know that we can solve for one of these two. So let's try to figure that out. So we got 40 degrees in here. The question is, how can I accomplish getting this many degrees right here? All right. So the only other hint we have is this 150 down here. So we think about it, and we think about now that this is one straight line, this is just like the parallel lines crossed by a transversal that we've seen before. So what we can do is we can translate, right? We can take this right here and translate up here and make a corresponding angle and so this right here is 150 degrees, right? That's going to be a little bit of a jump for some people seeing that, right? So you can slide it and use a translation, like a linear rigid transformation to get there. Once we do that, then we can start to see, all right, well, 150 degrees in this equal 180 because this is on one line, right? About this point, this is 180 degrees here, so this must be... 180 minus 150 is 30 degrees. So it's going to be 30 right here. So now we get 40 degrees, 30 degrees. How many degrees are in a triangle? 180 degrees. So right here, we know that there's going to be the missing number between this and this for it to be 180 degrees. So 180 minus 30 minus 40 equals... 110, 110 degrees. So right here is going to be 110 degrees. All right, so like we said before, x plus x degrees plus y degrees equals 180. This is my y, all right? So if I, if I now change it to x degrees plus 110 equals 180, we can come out to 180 minus 110 equals 70. All right, so this equals 70 degrees. So one thing I want you to notice is the fact that these two angles right here are inside the triangle, and we could call this an external angle, right? So this is, if you were to take any triangle, right, I'm going to go like that. We'll call this A. We'll call this B. A plus B is always going to equal this right here. Right, so A plus B. So these are on the other side of the triangle. These two are going to sum up to be the same as that angle right there. So we can see it right here. So 40 plus 30 equals 70. All right, so if you think about it, there's 180 degrees in a triangle. There's 180 degrees on this line. And both this triangle 
and this line are sharing 180 degrees, are sharing the fact that they both have 180 degrees and this angle right here. So if we subtract that angle from both of them, we're going to end up with the same thing. This plus this equals this. All right? That's it for today on auxiliary lines. Um, you don't have to remember the word auxiliary necessarily. You just have to understand how to apply the concept of supplementary angles, how to apply the concept of solving for a third angle within a triangle, and hopefully how to... So the other thing we could have done here was realize that this was 30 degrees right here, right? Because 150 plus 1 plus something equals 180 here. So this would be 180. And then we could have done alternate interior angles right here, right? So all we needed was one angle relationship to get from here to here. Now that might take just a little bit of practice. Hopefully we'll get it in before our, our test coming up. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, please post in the comments. Feel free to like it. If you want to see another example, I'd be happy to post one. Um, I think that's it. Stay weird.